What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Mikhail Zuski versus Carlos Ocampo, and this was a 10-rounder in the Super Welterweight division, and this fight was Friday, March 25th, from the Colise in Quebec, Canada, and this fight was broadcasted on Probellum, and in this fight, Carlos Ocampo was able to get a dominant 9th-round knockout victory over Mikhail Zuski. So leading up to the stoppage, I had this bout scored 80-71 to in favor of... Carlos Ocampo, he was dominating this fight. And going into it, I actually thought it was going to be a really, really competitive and close fight. That's what it looked like on paper. And I thought that Mikhail Zuski was actually going to come out with the majority decision victory or even a split decision victory, something like that, like a really, really, really close decision. But no, Ocampo from the start was the stronger man. It looked like Zuski couldn't do anything because of Ocampo's power, and Ocampo was just walking him down, and whenever Zuzki would try to land punches, um, they wouldn't really phase Ocampo at all, and he was trying to throw single shots whilst Ocampo was staying busy, and even when Ocampo's shots were getting blocked, they were still hurting Zuzki, and they were still causing damage and breaking him down, and then, um, yeah, throughout the fight, it was just Ocampo coming forward, throwing big combinations to the body, to the head, um, and in the third round, actually, Zuski got, got dropped, he got hit with a left hook while coming in, um, right on the chin, went down to his knees, um, got back up, but then it was just dominance in favor of Ocampo from there on. Ocampo wasn't even breaking a sweat in round number nine, I mean, that's how dominant it was. He was just pity-pattering Zuski and just beating him to whatever he wanted to, I mean, he was doing whatever he wanted to in that ring. Zuski had no answer for him. And the, the embarrassing thing for Zuzki was in front of his hometown, hometown crowd. In Canada, everyone was out to see him. They were cheering for him, but he got dominated. And, um, yeah, but then going into the stoppage of this fight in the ninth round, Zuzki was still getting dominated, still getting walked down. Then he got caught with a right hand over the top. Um, it was a straight right. Um, caught Zuzki. Zuzki went down to his knees again. And, um, yeah, then the referee did wave it off when Zuzki was not really getting up. Um, maybe the corner did wave it off, which warranted the referee to stop it, but um, it was, the referee did wave it off. That's what I saw. So, um, yeah, it's a stoppage win for Carlos Ocampo. Very, very good victory. This is definitely one of the best victories of Ocampo's career. Um, and, I mean, a guy like Ejidis Kavioskis was having a tough time with Zuski leading up to the stoppage, but Ocampo, I mean, he dominated him. And, um, yeah, that goes into the question, what is next for Carlos Ocampo? Um, I think he's due for a big fight. I think he should fight... Someone at the likes of like a Vladimir Hernandez, someone like a maybe Hassan Niwakinho, um, a Bas Barrao, and maybe even someone like a Sergio Garcia. I know Garcia has a 33-1 record, but he's coming off that fight against Sebastian Fundora, and it could make for a very, very solid um, fight between two solid super welterweights as I would definitely like to see Ocampo fight someone within the top 20, top 15 range. That's a very solid fighter. In the super welterweight division, as I listed before, like Hasami Wakinho, Abbas Barrao, Vladimir Hernandez, or even Sergio Garcia. Any of those names, I would love to see him fight anyone from that range. Um, but I definitely think he's due for another big fight next. But as for Mikhail Zuski, I mean, he's only, he's got like 37 fights. Um, and I believe he's in, in his early 30s. So he's definitely going to continue on his career. It's not like, he, like, it's not like he's like 39 years old. So, um... Yeah, I mean, even though he's tasted defeat now for the third time, I still think he's going to continue on with his career. He'll probably have a couple low-level fights in Canada, in his hometown of Quebec. Um, and, um, yeah, he'll probably get a decent opportunity in a main event, something like that, against like a top-tier fighter on like the zone, like a rising prospect, ESPN, whatever, or even just a contender like even Kavayowskis. Even though, like, someone around that level, um, in maybe in next, the next year or so, something like that. But his next couple of fights are probably going to be lower level, really not broadcasted heavily, and he'll probably get some easy wins. So overall, Carlos Ocampo dominates, drops, and stops Mikhail Zuski, getting a ninth round knockout victory to get one of the better victories of his career thus far. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.